Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of uh, Medieval Engineers. My name is ZipTot24 and thank you for joining me. Oh man. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, the barbarians are out in force. I mean, no joke. The barbarians are out in force. Wow. Okay, that was a heck of a lag spike. That's the biggest one yet. Alright, so I just killed one at the uh, my steps just a little bit of a while ago. And uh, I thought... Let me turn that off so we can see a little bit better. Yep, there's a deer. They eat berries now. They eat the berry bushes. But I thought I saw a torch. Oh, that was the deer. Yeah, there it is. There's another torch. And there's another torch. I got to get these guys before they get any closer to uh, my cabin. And uh, I'm not watching. Plus, I got to come out here and grab this uh, copper ore that's on the side of the mountain over here. Let's get this out. So, yep, he saw me. Why does that sound like he's coming up behind me? Ooh. Come on. I want that. Give me that. Give me that. I want that. Thank you. What do you got on you? I'll take that and I'll take that. You can keep your torch. I don't want your torch. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's exciting. I haven't had this much fun. And there's another torch way out there. So there's another barbarian right out there. You can barely see him. It's incredible. It's incredible, I say. Just downright incredible. It seems like... Uh, Barbarian spawns have changed a lot. Alright, so I ran into a little issue with uh, my log cabin. And I don't know if anybody else has had this issue. I'm just looking out. Just looking. But, um, uh, that's not what I want. I want this. So, on the log wall with the entrance, don't put your door on it yet. <laughs> don't put a door on it. Uh, by putting a door on it, it's, and you close it, and you go to try to open it, it's going to just go into your inventory. Um, yeah, and the only way to get out is to take the wall down. So I have no door on my log cabin because of that issue right now. I haven't installed any other mods yet. Um, I haven't really looked at them. But uh, I'm trying to get the luxury house done, and I need more clay. So what I'm going to do is spend a little time over here, dig out some copper, dig out some clay from here, and uh, I'll bring y'all back when I'm done with that. Welcome back, everybody. I'm just trying to get this quest done. And, uh, yay! Alright, that one's done. Let's go into our quest. Uh, civil Engineer. Alright, we got those going. Uh, economic. Uh, crop Production. Transportation. And uh, we need to do the Round Palisades next. That's the one that's on the top of our list. Uh, that means I need trees. But before I do that, I want to... I know it's dark. I do apologize. Daytime's a little slow getting up. I wish I could sleep through the night. That would be, like, really nice. But I need to come out here and uh, do a little clearing. Because I like this field. This is Here, let me do this. This is a very large field. It has some nice hickory or hazelnut, however you want to say those. Has some nice hazel um, trees in them. And uh, I'm thinking about putting palisades around this field. I'm just going to take you all for a little walk here. It's not very big. But what I'm thinking about doing is putting palisades around this and start making our first little village here. And having a little fun with it. So, looks like I'm going to need some logs. So let's go find some trees. And uh, 
I'm, I don't know if there's any outlaws or uh, barbarians over here, so I'm going to take y'all with me, and uh, we'll have a little bit of fun. I love the new tree animation. I just, I love it. it it's, it's just more fulfilling to chop trees down now, and I love it. Instead of uh, the old tree mechanics that we had where, I don't know, it, it feels like what I'm doing right now. It feels like the same old, but I'm talking about the hazelnuts, the way the trees uh, fall, the, the sounds they make. Um, it's, it's just more dynamic for me now, and I really appreciate that. Yeah, I'm being really, like, head on 360 right now. Because there's so many barbarians, it's not even funny. I'm going to try to pick a bigger tree. Let's pick this one. It's going to have more tree, or, or actual wood in it. Oh, it's a bird. It's like, what is that sound? Give me that. So I can cut this tree down. Yeah, that's just, it just sounds so much better. It really does. I'm loving it. Now, the way I do it, I don't know what y'all do, is I hold down the mouse button when I initiate, and then just hold down F. That way, when I do get close to getting a log, I can just scroll over it and pick it up. There we go, there we go. Grab that one. I want to grab all the lumber out of this, though. Because we're going to need a bunch of it because of the fact that the field is large enough to, to accommodate such a big building or a big uh, structure that I'm going to need a lot of logs to do this. Alright. Place two large. So let's go over here. I want to take that off for just a second because it kind of covers up what I'm trying to see. And I think I'm going to put the entrance right here. I think this should be like level enough ground. Yeah, we'll put it like right here. So we're going to need palisades, palisades. So let's start with just a palisade wall. We're going to need some of these large round ones as well. And my torch is now gone. We're going to need the gate. And that's all I'm going to need, actually. Let's get that back out. Um... So, the grid doesn't line up correctly. Hmm. So now how am I going to do this? So we can come off the road like this with the gate. I'm trying to think of this here. I wish it was simpler to see through what, oh, come on now. I guess I'll do it like this. Take it off the grid, and then we're going to bring it, because I want it close to that tree. So let's bring this a little closer to us so I can see where this is going to go. And the way I did that is I pressed O on the keyboard to take it off of the grid. That way I could get a new grid built. There we go. And then we're just going to go six. And now I'm going to be attached to this grid here. So let's start getting a few of these placed down. No, not yet. There it goes. Now I want to be careful, make sure that I don't go too far out on that road. I guess I'm going to stop right there. I don't want it going out into the road too far. I'm going to start bringing this one over. Again, I don't know how far out that I need to go this direction. I think right there will be fine. And then we'll come back with like 
that one there. It's us going to put two of these down, so. Excuse me. I apologize. Um, it asks us to put two of these down, so we're just going to go over here and try to get two of these down in the right spot or the best spot I can. See, that's not wanting to connect to that grid. Why? I guess that connects to that grid. I'm not sure. Hmm. Let's try this again. Now it's connecting. Okay. That made no sense, but okay. Whatever. Alright, there's that one. Let's run up here and put this one together now. I feel like this is a pretty good spot for us to put down roots, so to speak. Okay, so we need spikes and battle mitts now. So let's put some spikes on this. Can I? Yes. All right. What I'm going to do is just take that apart right there like that. Can I not put this together like that? <gasps> no. So I'm going to take this completely off. All right. Makes sense. Makes sense. And then put it down. All right. Um... Fortifications. Place two walls. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get into those today. I want to put battlements done on this end. I was hoping the sun would come out. I really was. Alright, let's get this put together. Not enough. What do I need? Planks. I need planks. What I do need, though, is to go into some diagonals. Place those down right here. Because these need to come off and go sort of... Whoa! Yep, that just happened. <laughs> oh, I found my hole that I've been digging. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I did. I honestly knew that was going to happen. But I wanted to bring the diagonals out just a little bit across this area here. And uh, can I not? No? I guess because there's not enough. I guess there's just not enough to connect to right there. All right. So I wanted to fill this back up. I mean, there's no copper in there, so I've already taken all the copper out of it. I wanted to come across to about right there. Yeah. And then we'll go back with a number six. Where you at? Spin you the right direction. I want you on the inside. Yes. And now this one's going to come across. All the way through here. I can build inside that tree. What? No way. Let's fix this. I'll take that out. Take that one out. All right, let's go back to a diagonal again. We want to bring this out just a little bit. Let's say that far. Yeah, that looks good. I want that tree to be in here. Where am I at? Let's go take a look. I thought I saw a torch. It's like I, s I can't see through this. Alright. So, I need to start coming back the direction 
back towards the field. All right. I'm making sure I'm pointing towards the ground. It looks like it's coming up over, off the ground right there. It is. Son of a biscuit eater. I didn't see that until it was too late. All right. Then we can come back up. Where'd you go? Why'd you go over there? Come back here. Six. All right. Again, we're coming back down. I guess I'm going to have to put that there. And then this one. All right. All right. Now I want to go sort of that direction. So number seven. Mm, not yet. Let's bring one more back out. No. Don't like it. Take this out. Now I'm gonna. No, I'm not I'm gonna try not to build with stone or anything up here. This is this is primarily just gonna be a cabin with some fields. That way I can get some resources going. That's pretty much what this is gonna be, and nothing else. Right, where's this other fence gonna go? Where is it at? Okay. So let's bring number six back out. Bring this out to the field. Oh, I need sticks. That's easy. We got plenty right here. Plenty of sticks. Grab those. Grab some more right there. Now I want to go that direction just a little bit, right? Now let's bring it out to this white, this white wall right here. And now let's take it back that direction. Do I have to go on there? See, I don't like that. Can I do this? How would that look? And just go from here. Why would you switch spaces? Stop it. Give me this. Give me that one too. I'm going to need it. <laughs> Alright, now I can go straight across, right? Where's this other wall at? I mean, I don't necessarily need a huge spot, but I want a pretty good, decent spot. Alright, so you're going that way. So let's go ahead and Grab this, and that's not going to work there, so it needs to go like that. All right, fine. I see how you're going to act. You're still going in. Give me that. And that wall is right there. All right. So now we can go ahead and spin this one around. Oh, that's not going to meet up, is it? I mean, that's a good, pretty good spot. Let's bring this one across. I want to see where it's going to meet up at. Um, oh, that's right. It's on the 45 degree angle. So let's go 7. And bring this across. Why does it do that? Stop it. See, look at it. Done it again. I wonder why it's doing that. Yeah, every time I got to hit. <laughs> All right, let's try it from this direction. All right, we're good there. <laughs> All right. Number six. That's going to go right there. All right, so I can get rid of this one. Because when I put this in, and then put this one in, I should be able to just go bloop. Perfect. 
All right, let's put some of these balls in, and I'll be right back. Oh, man, I forgot how much of a pain in the butt it is to put a fence up. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah! I'm getting a lot better with this. I'll take that as well. Thank you. Yeah, just all over the place. Um, I was reflecting on how big of an area I just put together. And uh, I kind of like it. But um, <laughs> it's taking a lot of lumber. I'm actually going after the big trees now because it's worth my time to go over here and chop these down. Whether, rather than chopping these little ones down and only giving me like two or three. Wow. All right, let's see if we can do this. No! Okay, that was a little dangerous. I really do mean a little dangerous. It, not even to the tree itself. We've got four logs already. Chop all these limbs off. I love how it just splits down the middle. It's like, oh, too heavy. Here, take this piece first. So that's one, two, three, four, five out of that one side. And I think this one gave us what, three? One, two, three, no, four. This one gave us four. Get this out of my way so I can see if any barbarians try to come up behind me. And I think this one's gonna give us, I think three. No, it'll give us two. Yeah. Oh, these new trees, man. I love these new trees. Wow, this one's going to give me a lot of lumber. A lot of sticks, too. All right, one, two. All right, gave me more sticks than lumber that time. Or timber, logs, logs. That's the word I'm looking for, logs. I'm just looking, just looking, looking for a torchlight, which is nice. I like the fact that I can look for torchlight at night now to see if there's a barbarian close by. I don't have to guess if somebody's near me or wait for a sound. Let's pick these up. Grab those. Alright, well I'm going to finish chopping this tree down and uh, get back to building the fence and I'll bring y'all right back. Welcome back, everybody. I just got through replacing my hammer. And, uh... This guy wanted to come up and have a little jousting match. I think he's going to lose, though. Oh! You got me on that one. You got me on that one. He had a... Metal uh, mace there. <laughs> Spike Club did a number on my forehead. Is that the only one coming? I think so. Oh, geez Louise. They're just coming out of the woodworks now. Literally. All right. So, yeah. This is getting kind of uh, exciting. The fact that we got oh. barbarians now. I put that in the wrong spot. Let's fix that. All right, let's get that one. And let's get that one. All right. So now I have my little field, which I got a couple of places I'm going to have to uh, fix up, bring them up and stuff like that. So I think, oh, do I do? I can't do that because it's a diagonal. So what I guess I could do is bring it out. Hmm. I wanted to bring these up, I think. What about... Let's add those and then let's add... I think these? Yeah. 
Hmm, what else? What else? I think that's it. So let's go number seven. Oh, I'm not gonna put. I'm not gonna be able to put those there. I can put them here without any problems. But I need something that goes there. That's gonna be a diagonal. All right, there it is. So there, right over there. I know this is probably kind of boring to y'all, so I do apologize that I'm bringing y'all along on this. It's just, I don't know when these barbarians are going to just sneak out and uh, try to attack me. I really don't. I mean, I was literally just coming out of my uh, my my, uh, my hut when he started coming after me. So, yeah. Why is that? That doesn't look right. Okay. That looks right. I might leave some of these. God. I might just leave some of those open like that. That looks halfway decent. Think about putting the house over there. And then we got a big enough spot right there for a garden. Or I might put the house up here. I'm not, I'm really, like, really, I don't know yet. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know where I'm going to move all this stuff to. But I know I do need to move it. Um, let's go get this tree. So yeah, this is this is the valley I'm in. Or not valley, but I guess the ridge line that I'm in. Because I came over here, and if I go straight this direction, you'll run into uh, iron ore. But, I mean, you have to go this way a little bit. But the reason why I'm thinking about building here, and the reason why I'm not building with stone yet, is that wall is going to be so much bigger. I just need a, a fortified spot to build in right now because the barbarians are just all over the place. Um, this opens up into a bigger field. And off of this field area over here is a pretty decent ridge line. I'm going to bring y'all with me here. So yeah, this opens up to a nice field, and there's two barbarians in the field. There's one right over that direction, right above my head, and there's one right over there. <laughs> so this is the reason why I'm having to install walls, because the barbarians are just they're all over the place. Um... Oh, I thought I saw another barbarian. What I was thinking about doing is this is a pretty nice open area. And uh, I'm going to put the palisades out there and build the farmlands. And then in this area, we're going to build a wall right down this ridge line where that other barbarian is down there. And uh, th is that a third? No, it's just one. Yeah, we got two barbarians. And then bring it back across. Um, let me get this out. So I got a pointer. Bring it across that way right there. And then meet back up with this tree line right here. Come all the way around and all the way back over here. And then we're going to put the castle and stuff over here. I think that would look pretty cool. Let me see if I can grab one of these guys. He's pretty far off. So let's go grab him. I want to see what he's got. I haven't come across anyone with like real nice swords or anything like that, which would it'd be really nice. Now uh, you just got a club too, don't you? Can I brain them? You can't beat me. I'm getting too good at this. I'm getting way too good at this. You got any food on you? But of course not. I think I have food on me though, right? No, I don't. If I eat that, it's only giving me two food. Alright, so can I make some more food here? No, I can't. Because I ain't got no daggum roots on me. I'm hungry. 
time to head back to the house. But yeah, I think this this I guess this ridge line is gonna be perfect for our next building site. I'm hoping it is. I mean we'll dwell on it a little bit longer, but I need a place that's gonna be secure because of how many barbarians there is now. I gotta figure out how to fix this. It's a lot of just throwing dirt down. I think that's the only way I'm gonna be able to do it. Um, where did I put all my food at? Not there. Okay, here we go. Grab those and those. Go into our inventory. Make some salads. Now let's put all the food in here that I didn't use. Well, I, I did have a few. Hmm. I don't think I had that many. Wow. <laughs> I got three studded clubs. <laughs> oh, I didn't know I had that many. Um, that goes in there. Uh, might as well put those in there, too. Um, dirt goes in here. Skulls go in there. Um, my inventory is getting kind of full, so I need to start putting some of this stuff away. Nope. Give me that one back. Um, oh, that's right. I still have the small stockpiles and stuff. Let's put those up there. Um, don't need that. Don't need that on us. All right. I got some small stones. And inventory is good. I want to keep those sticks on me, though. I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Sorry it's going to be a little shorter than usual. But, yeah, we'll get this farm going here pretty soon. I might just make that other area over there a bigger farm. And uh, move our main building somewhere else. But, yeah, I'm liking it. It's a lot more of a challenge now to be I mean, completely frank with you. It is a huge challenge now. With the barbarians coming at you like they are. I mean, it's it's actually kind of fun. I like it. That in the game looks so much better. It really does. Ugh. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you had fun. Um, sorry it was kind of short. And uh, we'll see you next time. Oh, yeah. Before you go, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And hit that like button if you liked. And, uh... Yay! <laughs> Join us on Discord for any conversations that you want to go ahead and get in touch with me about. And uh, enjoy y'all's day, everybody. Bye!